Here we have a new 2022 Hyundai Palisade. And this one comes in the SEL trim level. And this paint is Black Abyss Pearl. And the interior consists of black perforated leather. And then the powertrain is a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. And as we get to the front end here, we have LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. And then down here we have 20 inch aluminum wheels. Get past the keyless entry on the front two doors. And here are the controls for power windows, power mirrors, power door locks. And then we have our memory seat controls there. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. On to the second row. So really good leg room back here. I'm six foot three and I'm able to sit in the seat in front of me as well as have plenty of room back here. And then back here, we also have our rear automatic AC controls. And then we also have a 115 volt three prong household plug in there. It's kind of dark. And there's that third row, it's still covered in plastic, but just to show you the leg room back there, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on back. So not bad. I can actually lean this third row back even more, but there's stuff in the trunk, but I can fit my feet underneath the seat there. So really impressive there. But let's go on to the back of the SUV after showing these blinds here and they just hook on and then you can shield your kids from the sun. There's the back end there. And there's the cargo space. So you can see it fits all those formats in no problem. You still have a little bit of room. And then you have all your power folding controls over there. So you can power fold the third row up and down and then you can fold the second row down. Here's our front passenger seat, which is power. And now we're gonna take a look at the engine bay. While I'm at it, I just want to give a huge shout out to Hyundai of Full Springs for letting me test this vehicle out. They have this one for sale. But there's that 3.8 liter V6. Now let's go inside where it's warm. It is freezing out here. So here we have a nice heated leather wrapped steering wheel, which is very helpful on a day like today. <laughs> and then over here we have our radio. So we have our navigation screen there. We have all of our buttons down here. So I'll hit this media button to show you. We have AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There's just a quick walkthrough of 
all the shortcuts and that's our home page there and then down here those buttons volume tune or radio station controls there and then down here we have our dual zone automatic climate controls and then we have that heated seat toggle for the driver and front passenger as well as the heated steering wheel toggle we can just hit the buttons for that and then three stage for these heated seats automatic brake hold drive modes you get four of those smart eco comfort and sport and we can toggle that auto stop on and off and for our shifter here we just all this push button pretty easy to use just press the button down for all of that and down here we have a usb port and a wireless phone charger and then ugh, we can even stow this away cup holders there center console cubby space it's a really good size center storage there and there's a view of the back from up here And there we have our power sunroof. And there are the controls for that. And there's our glove compartment with owner's manuals, pretty good size. Now to our steering wheel controls, we have Bluetooth here, and then we can hit this mode so you can go through your radio station frequencies as well as your Bluetooth audio, volume control, track list or radio station control there. And then to the right side of the steering wheel, we have our forward collision alert, that gap adjust there. We can toggle the cruise and then set that there, cancel it, and then we have our gauge cluster controls here. You can see that center stack is digital and then on either side you have the needles for the tachometer engine temperature speedometer and then your fuel tank and then paddle shifters behind the steering wheel headlamp controls here windshield wiper controls there push button start finally here we have our key fob with remote start So next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2022 Hyundai Palisade out on the road for a quick test drive. So to start with, the Palisade is pretty easy to drive. And I've driven one in the past. And they're just really, they really are great cars. This along with the Telluride, they just, they drive really nicely and they look really good. But I have it in comfort mode now and just a really nice ride. Gonna put in the Eco show the difference there and really the biggest thing is just your throttle input is kind of dialed back in terms of what's being sent to the powertrain and the brake pedal really goes with this kind of vehicle as well just everything feels right
But even in eco mode, you still have plenty of power when you put your foot down. But I'm gonna put it in the sport now. And this thing just really awakens in the sport mode. really good pull even without having to shift so I have the adaptive cruise on and it's keeping that safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me and it also has the lane centering on as well And it's nice to have this even on a mid-level trim like the SEL. And a really good system. And I really can't say enough about how much, how great this thing drives. It's just a really nice overall experience. The driving is nice. The ride quality is nice. The safety sense features are nice. And really not a lot of swaying or top heaviness like you might expect in an SUV this size. And the cabin acoustics are really nice too. Really not a lot of sound coming in here, even on a somewhat windy day like today. And the automatic brake hold is pretty easy to use as well. Doesn't jerk you or anything like that. But this is going to bring me to the end of my review of the 2022 Hyundai Palisade SEL.